let's talk about buyer feedback from a whole new perspective. As a buyer's agent, it's my fiduciary duty to protect my buyer. If I don't provide feedback to the listing agent, it's not because I'm lazy, it's because I'm protecting my buyer's interests. Without my buyer's permission, I cannot speak for them or provide feedback. So imagine this, I, as a buyer's agent, provide negative feedback to a listing agent. The listing agent passes this on to the seller who gets offended. Fast forward a month and my buyer decides to make an offer. The seller, still upset by the feedback, refuses to negotiate. Now my buyer has no leverage. How do you think my buyer would feel at this point? So here's a tip for agents, be cautious with feedback. If you're out here giving your honest opinion on price or condition without your client's okay, you might be stepping into risky territory. I personally avoid giving feedback unless my client explicitly agrees. If you say the price is fair in the feedback, but then you make a low ball offer, it can backfire. In my opinion, it's just not worth the risk. Protect your clients and protect yourself. No feedback unless it is fully approved. So listing agents, let's all take a step back and look at feedback from the new perspective. Let's try to be more kind because we all know kindness is free.